Question number seven, Richard Prosser. Thank you, Mr Speaker. My question is to the Minister of Finance. Is he still sceptical about how effective a register of foreign property buyers would be? If so, why? The Honourable Bill English. Uh, Mr Speaker, uh, yes, I am sceptical uh, because a real-time uh, full register of who owns all property in New Zealand would be an expensive and high compliance method for getting uh, data to tell us uh, to get sufficient data to make, on which to make policy decisions. Uh, we think it's reasonable that we do collect more information that is useful but not onerous in, the, uh, uh, in property transactions. That's why from 1 October all buyers of property other than the main home must have an IRD number and non-residents must have a New Zealand bank account and provide their country's tax ID number. We believe this is a lower compliance way of collecting data we would actually use. Supplementary. Supplementary question, Richard Prosser. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Given that answer, is he aware that a number of other jurisdictions have implemented such registers without apparent difficulty? Uh, the Honourable Bill English. Uh, well, Mr Speaker, it's not evident that in the, in the um, jurisdictions where it sounds like they've got a register that it actually has any impact. Uh, for instance, in Australia, despite nominally having a register, uh, or having a list at least of foreign buyers, which is a different thing, uh, there seems to have been mass non-compliance with the related policy, which simply proves that a register on its own makes no impact on who buys what, but is a very expensive way of knowing who has already bought something. Supplementary question, Richard Prosser. Thank you, Mr Speaker. To the Minister, will he instruct Landcorp, which is currently managing the former Crafer Farms on behalf of Shanghai Pengjin, to tender for the acquisition of those farms in order to bring them back into New Zealand ownership? If not, why not? Long way from the original question, but I'll uh, allow it. The Honourable Bill English. Uh, Mr Speaker, no, it's not obvious that that would be an advantage um, either to Landcorp or the New Zealand economy. Supplementary question, Richard Prosser. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Does he agree that New Zealand farmland is better in the ownership of New Zealand resident local farmers rather than foreign corporations? And if not, why not? Uh, the Honourable Bill English. Well, Mr Speaker, in an, in an open market economy, fortunately politicians don't get to decide exactly who owns what. Uh, but I would point out to the member there's been a cycle over the last... 30 or 40 years where both foreign ownership and corporate ownership of farmland has at times been popular and then it becomes unpopular. Uh, and in the long run, the New Zealand owner-operator model, uh, those who live it and love it, tend to be the only ones who can make money out of New Zealand farmland. Question number eight, Dr Shane Reedy. Thank you, Mr Speaker. To the Minister of Health, what reason